Hi, I'm Beverly Banwa Brown with a very, very significant topic today on narcissistic relationships. Are you feeling in some way victimized? Are you feeling like generally you're showing up in your relationship with a crazy maker uh, or an energy vampire, a drama queen, a drama king, somebody possessing many narcissistic traits in their personality and their behavior, who's created with you, because remember, you're half of this, a situation where you feel like you're no longer empowered. Are you remembering, or forgetting to remember, rather, your strengths, your achievements, your accomplishments up to this point in your life? Are you giving away your empowerment by letting someone else's opinion of your behavior, your appearance, your intelligence, your sexiness, your juiciness, so to speak, you're giving it away to somebody else. What has happened in your life that would make you feel like that's in any way, shape, or form okay? And, very significant question also, at what point are you going to realize that you've had enough of this, that it's not all right, let me get my rose-colored glasses, <laughs> that it was never all right, but you had the rose-colored glasses on for a while, and so you convinced yourself with all the wonderful natural opiates circulating in your brain, which is part of what allows you to leave the rose-colored glasses on or have them on in the first place, like norepinephrine, like oxycontin, like higher levels of serotonin that usually happen when we're in that limerence phase of that new blush of love, romance. It's so effervescent, isn't it? You feel like you are having the best time ever. Now, when it's a healthy person who's bringing these feelings up in you, or when it's falling in love with yourself again and realizing all your own beautiful, wonderful, loving, life-affirming characteristics, when it's falling in love with the divine all around you and being in a state of great gratitude and very deep appreciation for all that life has to offer, that's healthy. When, however, you've attracted into your life a man or woman who is an energetic vampire, who wants to get what they can from you, who's so self-absorbed and busy trying to get their own needs met all the time that they really don't have time or much inclination left to ongoingly give you the care, the attention, the encouragement, the nurturing, the real genuine affection that you want and that I believe you deserve. So being a victim the way I'm defining it right now really is all about feeling that somebody else is in charge of your life in most areas or all of your areas and you've lost a part of yourself and it's eroding your sense of your own potential, of your own right and ability to pursue your dreams, to live your own life, to respond rather than react, to communicate effectively, to know you have options. And what it often is caused by really, as I've talked about before on my other videos on these topics, is something has triggered you about this person and it's transferred back to some old childhood belief system, the old BS that I've referred to before, the old belief systems of lack and limitation and restrictive thinking. And that unconscious belief is what's causing the familiarity of chaos to be brought up once again, not as a punishment, as an opportunity so that you can heal at this time. So that never again do you need to attract somebody like this into your life. Now I know what you might say. Bev, they've got so many beautiful qualities. 
They can be so loving. They can be so charming, so witty, so delightful to have dinner with, to go to the beach with, to make love with. They're smart. They're beautifully dressed. They're always on time. They're this, they're that, and all the other wonderful traits that often are in with the other traits of unreliability, self-absorption, um, <laughs> Jekyll Hyde behavior, stonewalling, gaslighting, love bombing, it goes on from there. And then ultimately discarding you and ghosting you, disappearing, coming back, the hoovering, when you least expect it, and usually when you're just really getting over it all. I don't want you to be laboring under the illusion that you have to be anybody's victim anymore. So here are a few golden nuggets gleaned from my many years in working with individuals and couples, families, groups, over 30 years now, from every imaginable background, every imaginable socioeconomic group, every imaginable age group, from young children all the way up to people close to 100. Everyone is vulnerable to a certain extent to feeling victimized, targeted, demeaned. The beautiful news is, golden nugget number one, you are an adult and you have options. Golden nugget number two, you may not be seeing the possibilities for your life other than this relationship right now because you've been cowed, because you've been duped, persuaded into believing that this person has a right or has achieved a level of such power over you that you're forgetting your real identity as a beloved child of this universe. Golden nugget number three, change is always possible. Compassion for yourself and the whole situation is healing and restorative. Next golden nugget, you have the capacity to take back your power, to become proactive in your life. That's the great news I've come to share with you today. And whether you believe my words right now or not, the truth is you've done hard things before and you can get past this too. Next golden nugget. There is great power in decision making. When you've really had enough of feeling that you are somebody else's victim, of being put down, of being oppressed, of being told how to think, how to act, how to dress, how to cook, how to drive, how to do whatever else it is that you're being defined by somebody else in or as. You can rise up and find the pearl within yourself of wisdom about what happens next. And you can act on it. Next golden nugget, if for whatever the reason you decide either to stay or to go, get help. This is not necessarily something that you want to do without professional support. Because by now, if you're watching this video, you very well have had, to a large extent, your sense of your selfhood, your sense of your own worth eroded. You need to reclaim your own sense of wonderfulness and magnificence, your own inherent worth and value and dignity. No one, next golden nugget, has the right to demean anybody else. There is no excuse for abuse. Next golden nugget, we train people how to treat us by how we think of ourselves and how we act towards ourselves. Ask yourself, please, if it feels right to you, the question, how are you possibly colluding with this other person in keeping these victimized feelings, thoughts, behaviors, and actions going? And how willing are you to look at the wonderful possibilities that exist, whether you see them right now or not, to change this? 
These are significant questions. And just as there is great power in decision making, sometimes first we have to ask powerful questions with a willingness to hear not only with our heads but with our hearts and integrate the head and the heart to know what is really ours to do next. I've left you a lot to think about and really a lot to contemplate. I hope that you know in the privacy of your own life you have a right to do this. I know you can. And I know also that if for whatever the reason you choose to stay with this person, sometimes there can be significant healing, sometimes it can work out, however flawed the situation may be. And professional help with a counselor, a coach who has experience, it's a specialty unto itself, can really help make the difference between feeling victimized and feeling proactive in a mutually happy and mutually committed relationship. I'm Beverly Van Orr Brown. Please, if you haven't already, consider uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel, Beverly Van Orr Brown MS. I'd love to know you enjoyed any part of this by having you leave me a like. If you want to be in touch, please, feel free to leave me a commentary under the screen. And because so many people, I know this from all the emails I'm receiving daily from all around the globe, from the YouTube uh, community, so many people are feeling oppressed, feeling disempowered, feeling victimized, and there's a very often desperate tone to many of the emails that are coming to my inbox. This is not necessary. You are strong, you are vibrant, you are whole, you are vital. Sometimes even the strongest people can forget that. So then it becomes time when you're ready to really ask the question, what else is possible for my life? Until next time, I so enjoyed making these videos for you and I so strongly want you to know that I hold every single one of you in very loving prayer, which affirms your wholeness, your strength, your beauty, and your divine right to love and be loved in a healthy way, ongoingly. Bye for now, and many, many blessings.